Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. So this year down in the desert, I'm testing out a portable power solution from a company called Lion Energy. And see tucked in my storage bay there is a Safari ME power station. And uh, it has an inverter output of 2000 watts. And you can see that yellow cord there. I have that feeding a transfer switch inside my RV. And then that lights up all the plugs in there and we can use the microwave and all all appliances and stuff like that so that's very convenient it uh, recharges by AC power but I also have their six uh, solar panels portable solar panels that are foldable that I lay out like so you can see them laid out in the sunshine here drawn in the California Sun and powering us up one drawback of that box that I found is it had a very uh, limited information on its display all it had was uh, minutes to full and minutes till empty didn't really tell you the wattage that that was happening or the current uh, amperage that you were getting off the panels so i've kind of been using my uh, clamp on amp meter and my voltage meter to kind of check especially when i'm angling the panels trying to maximize the the total wattage that i can get into the rig through them uh, but then it kind of dawned on me that i had an old um, a meter that I got with another battery I reviewed and I never needed it because I have a, a trimetric battery monitor system. This is kind of a cheapy one. I think they go for about 40 bucks on Amazon. Anyway, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I can modify that and be able to plug it in line with the panels, between the panels in the box, and it'll be able to report to me the amount of current and voltage that I'm getting. Uh, it doesn't have wattage, but if you times current by voltage you do get wattage so anyway let me uh, show you my little DIY project that I just finished and here it is don't you love my fancy case <laughs> anyway let me pop the top so I can show you how I wired it up so this thing is designed to monitor your battery and actually do a percentage readout on the battery to tell you how full or empty it is but I'm not using it for that I just want to get the current and voltage measurement which this thing will display so I just wired it in line I picked myself up some connectors the same uh, power pole connectors that the the line energy is using on their lines so that I'll be able to just plug it in and then I've just attached this the negative goes on here basically this is a shunt I think it's a 350 amp shunt so you put the negative negative and then the positive goes right through and then I needed power for this system, for the meter. Um, so the power, I come, come off the power wire. Uh, those panels put out 24 volts of power, but this thing can take up to, I think it's 100 volts of power. So that worked out quite well. So I just had to get it solder in a little wire, attach it to the B plus there. So now when the current goes through, the voltage is measured. The voltage drop off across the shunt is measured. And then this little box could figure out the current and the voltage. So we'll pop it together and I'll, I'll hook it up and give you a demo. Just like so. So now it's hooked in line and I can take a look at this meter. Right now you can see 12.78 amps going through this, coming out of the, the solar array. And if I press voltage, it'll say 36.25, 36, so the voltage is fluctuating. So around 36 and a half volts and 12.6 amps. If you multiply those two figures together, you'll get the wattage. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to pull out my clamp on and my, my multimeter and start measuring. I can just hook this in line and then I'll always know what's going on with a glance. I can just keep it under there or I can put it in line with the box inside. That way, if I'm aligning my panels, I can try to try to get them pointed at the sun and maximize my uh, solar input. Anyway, I thought that was just an interesting way to repurpose that gadget. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, everyone.